Today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. On this day in 1917, Mary appeared to three children tending sheep in Fatima, Portugal. Our Lady asked people to pray the rosary for the conversion of sinners. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Lauren Ashburn. About 2,500 Marian apparitions have been documented throughout church history. Thousands of other miracles like weeping icons are also reported. Now, a statue of Our Lady in California is making headlines. Michael O'Neill is a Marian expert and creator of MiracleHunter.com. What exactly are you? Well, I, I would identify myself as a miracle researcher and investigator, so I try to look at these claims of uh, apparitions, of weeping icons, other, other things, and in my book, Exploring the Miraculous, I go through all these different types of miracles, so I try to check them out and give the faithful, uh, you know, the guidance of the church. Tell us about the reports uh, this week about a Marian statue in California that is allegedly weeping, what they're calling miraculous tears. Do you buy it? Well, the key phrase is allegedly, of course. There have been so many of these uh, hundreds and thousands throughout history of these weeping statues, bleeding statue claims. This one in uh, Fresno, California, claimed by Maria Cardenas is her name, uh, just started weeping when uh, this woman said that she had a tragedy in her family, and so many hundreds or thousands of people are coming to see it now. So uh, do I personally believe it? I don't know. I, I think it looks more credible than most, but the church has not yet investigated it. So I'm going to wait a little bit until the church uh, shows some interest in this. And tell us about St. John Paul II's devotion to Our Lady of Fatima's feast day. Uh, to Our Lady of Fatima, her feast day is today. Why is he so devoted to her? There were apparitions that people saw in Portugal of her. Absolutely. I think John Paul II has a very special connection to Our Lady of Fatima. Of course, he was the assassination attempt by Mehmet Ali Agka against his life happened on the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. And uh, he took the bullet that, that entered his body and he sent it to Fatima uh, to be placed in the crown of Our Lady there because he believed that she interceded. And of course, if you look at the third secret of Fatima that talks about a bishop in white being shot at, he thought that related to him and the assassination attempt on his life. So he's always had a very special connection to Our Lady of Fatima. And as far as apparitions and miracles are concerned, the Vatican doesn't really keep a resource or keep any documents on that. Is, is that correct? What they do is they issue statements on a case-by-case -case basis to say if it's worthy of belief or not, but there's no online resource that shows what the church has said on any of these hundreds or thousands that have happened throughout history. And so that's what I try to do with MiracleHunter.com is give the faithful a place to go to check out what has happened and what the church says about them. Michael O'Neill is a Marian expert, creator of MiracleHunter.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.